Okay, because we do see a lot of machine shops. Automation is coming more and more prevalent. Yes. You've got your pallet yeah. loaders, your multi-pallet, yeah. so your twin pallet, yeah. six pallet with you guys. People might be a bit wary about having a robot arm in their machine shop, but is it easy to program, yes. easy to use? They're becoming simpler and simpler. Tim Toss 2023 with Richard from Ward High Tech in the UK, and you supply Darlene machines. Yes, Colin. Nice and simple, but synonymous with quality machining, but for a long, long time as yeah. well. First Darlene machines came into the UK in 1983. So a good 40 years of yes. history there. Good quality. Strong cutting, very reliable. Excellent choice of there machine. There you go, exactly what you want from machine tool. But talking about that, what have we got here? It's a bit okay. of a workhorse, really. That's right. This is a new model, which has been upgraded, and it's one of the smaller end of the large vertical range of machines from Dali. So you say new model, we've seen this machine before, it's just more the upgrades in That's terms right. of automation. Yes. Okay, we'll come, uh, people would have spotted that, I would hope, but we'll come to that in a moment. Tell me a little bit about this machine. Okay. So, three axis? Three axis as standard, it's box slideways for heavy cutting, gearbox, we've got full power from 200 RPM, and this particular machine has got a, an improved gearbox that can have 8,000 RPM as right. opposed to the normal 6,000 RPM. So it's a twin speed gearbox. Twin so speed gearbox. So you're getting that power all the way through yeah. the range. And if you want to do aluminium non-ferrous cutting, you're not embarrassed <laughs> by not having the correct speed. Okay, but then you can do the tougher, the in canals, the duplexes, yes. etc. It's really a, a, an excellent man for all seasons. Oh, okay. And it's enhanced by the, having the BBT50 spindle taper as standard. Oh, as standard, so I thought you, could have, you can have options or that's a standard? No, that's a standard, but obviously it will run with standard BT as well. Okay, so again, with that, you can do the big depths of cut if required, but also yes. the finer, finer machining yes. when required. Yeah. Okay, but limited to three axis? No. Okay, that's nice and simple. Why? We sell in Ward High Tech a range of rotary tables from Taiwan called Parkson, and every Darling machine vertical mode has preparation for the fourth axis. So the plugs and sockets are there ready. The only thing we don't fit in the control is the specific Fanuc con control board. Okay. And that's because the smaller tables and bigger tables need different control boards. Okay, but that's easily easily adjusted yes. if required. Minutes of a job. But ready ready to go Prepared. fourth axis, but you can even go four plus one. Yes, we can do that. And really, we can match any customer requirement. What we can't do on this particular model is do five axis simultaneous. Okay, but a lot of flexibility as you'd expect with a whole range of machines. Yes. Okay, in terms of speed, power, depth yes. of cut, tough materials. Yes. Okay, but now you say upgraded, but as I said earlier, the eagle eyed amongst us would have spotted a little bit yes. of automation going on behind yes. us. Basically now we're getting the demand from the customer for really two different areas of automation. What we're seeing here is a FANUC industrial robot which has generally got more versatility. You can see that it's got shelves for the in-stocking of the parts, out-stocking. But we also do a range of collaborative, simpler end robots. Again, for the entry level, for the guy whose customer wetting, wants to wet his appetite into loading the parts. OK, because we do see a lot of machine shops. Automation is coming more and more prevalent. Yes. You've got your pallet yeah. loaders, your multi-pallet, yeah. so your twin pallet, yeah. six pallet with you guys. People might be a bit wary about having a robot arm in their machine shop, but is it easy to program, yes. easy to use? They're becoming simpler and simpler. Which is what you want to hear, so you can run your machine shop 24-7. Yeah. But in terms of flexibility on the actual holder here, you can change the, the, the size of the... the shelves, yep. the pitching of the parts, very, very easy. And for some applications we've got in the field, where we've got a very big industrial robot, we've got two machine tools being serviced by one robot. All oh, right, so even more in terms of automation, keeping yeah. these, these spindles running 24-7. Yes, correct. There you go. So nice and simple, three axis going up to four plus one, your automation, anything else we should cover? Yes, we, we've got the FANUC OIMF Plus control, so we've got 400 block look ahead. We've got the ability with the GO 5.1 to go either for super precision or super speed by Q parameter, so the customer can get the best of every machining combination and get the best cycle time. There you go, exactly what our engineers want out there. So any questions or what a machine like this, we know where to go. Ward High Tech in Sheffield, 
give us a call, Colin. There you go. Nice and simple. Darling Machines from Richard and the team.